In the course of our lives, we are gradually losing our natural posture, whereas young children run around with a straight back quite naturally. Since we are, however, exposed to gravity permanently, our body must overcome this force in order to be able to walk upright and move freely. If you watch our movement behavior, we notice that most or very many people walk with a bent back. Bending tension negatively affects the spinal column in bent posture, such as using computers, reading newspapers on the sofa, and even using the bicycle. Our back is always round. The mechanical willingness to accept strain is decreased significantly. If posture is upright, however, our body can cope with high pressure and it is not harmful as the spinal column is affected asially. For example, if you want to break a pencil, then you bend it until it breaks. If you try to break the pencil by pushing it, it won't work. Strength works asially here. The spinal column behaves just the same. Also, when you try to break the pencil by tearing it apart, it won't work. Let's do some exercises to learn the upright posture. The following exercises train the three gear wheels, pelvis, thorax and neck. Open your legs and place your feet so they are pointed outwards. And the distance between the two feet is wide. Place your heels very close to the chair so that you can easily stand up. We begin with the pelvis and push the buttocks backwards. It is important to feel the sit bones. Place your hands under your buttocks and feel the sit bones so they have contact to your hands. During the exercise you have always contact pelvis and balance pad. Push your buttocks backwards for three counts and release. Let's go. Backwards, two, three, and release again. One, two, three, and release. It's a very small movement. One, two, three, release. To the back, two, three. Sit bones have contact. One, backwards, backwards, and release. Very small movement. One, two, three, and release. Upright posture, two, three, and release. Again, one, two, three, and release. Feel your sit bones, two, three. Okay, now you let your arms easily hang to the sides, two, three, and release. Now, stretch your fingers, two, three, and release. Again. Combining the two movements, two, three, and release. Again, one, two, three. Now, turn your thumbs to the outside, palms forward, and release. Again, one, two, pushing the buttocks backwards. One more. Now, more to the back with your arms, and release. Again, one, Two, three, and release. Pushing backwards. Two, three. One, two, three. Now stretch your wrists. One, two, three, and let go. And one, two, three. Open your fingers wide. One, two, and release again. Last time. Three. And now hold. Two. Three. And hold. Hold. And release. 
and release. Now place your hands under the last rib, fingertips are pointing forwards. We only work the second gear wheel, the thorax. Push your ribs to the front, to the front, 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 and release again. To the front, 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 in direction of the fingertips, to the front, 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 and release. Lose your hands. One, two, three, and let go. Again, one, two, three, and release. To the front, two, three, and now, in addition with the pelvis, pelvis and thorax together, pushing the pelvis back, sit bones have contact with the balance pad, and one, two, three, and release, again, one, two, push your pelvis to the back, again, Two, three, and release again. Last time, one, two, three. We change it now. Two counts to the front. One, two, and hold and release again. Together with the pelvis. One, two, hold and release again. One, two. Now lift your ribcage up. One, two. Lift it up again and one lift your thorax up and make sure that you have contact with your sit bones to the balance pad three and release one more one two three and relax one two three next time we hold in front two three and hold now you feel the power of your back muscles and release. Now we work the shoulders, so we are fixing the shoulders and we sit very comfortably on our balance pad. Both shoulders pressing down for one count and relax. One and release. Down, release. Down, pressing down. Again, breathing out. Pressing the shoulders down into the floor. Down, release. One more. Now hold your shoulders down. Two, three, and release for three counts. Hold the shoulders down. Two, three, again. Down, two, three, release. And again, one, two, Three. Next time, first down, now pushing the shoulders back, hold and let go. Shoulders down, back, hold and let go. Again, down, back, hold, down, back, hold. Down, back, now stretch your fingers and release. Shoulders down, shoulders back, stretch your fingers and release. Now down, back, thumbs to the outside and release. And down, back, rotate and let go. Down, back, arms into the back, pull them to the back, down, back, arms, and let go. Now the wrists are coming, two, three, and let go. One, two, three. Everything is combined together. Everything works more or less automatically. You can feel how your thorax is lifting when you work the shoulders. Again, down, back, arms to the back. Last time, down, back, and hold. Hold, four, three, two, 
and one. So begin with empty back and we start with the pelvis. Three counts. Two, one. Release. Add the rib cage to lift and release. Rib cage to the front, front, up. Add the shoulders. One, two, three. And again, one, it's quite difficult, so it takes some time. Be patient. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. Keep the contact to the balance pad. Two, three. Again. Get lifted and let go. Upright posture too. And let go. Next time you hold the position and you feel your whole back muscles. Four, three, two, and let go. Sit comfortably. Now we're working the neck. We push the chin backwards. Two, three, and let go. It's a very small movement. We stretch the neck. One, two, three, and release. Again. One, two, three. Here you can feel that the whole upper body is working. And back. Two, three. At the shoulders, remember down and backwards. At your arms, lift your thorax. Two, three, again. One, two, three. And now the pelvis. One, two, Three. Three gear wheels, which are working very smoothly together now. So you have uh, actually pressure on the column, which is good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more, and then you hold the position. Now you hold one, two, three. Stay here. This exercise can be done also in the office, in front of the computer. Two, one, and release.